Activision has announced it will invest $500 million in the online science fiction action adventure game Destiny. This makes the game made by Halo Studio Bungie the most expensive game ever made. The game looks awesome, but such a price tag adds extra challenges. Here are five reasons why Destiny might not become a commercial success. How can anything be bigger than Halo? We'll find out. Activision needs to sell approximately 15 million copies of Destiny just to break even. Even though there's some serious hype for the online shooter, to reach 15 million the game needs to sell just as well as Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare did back in 2007. Even though the game will be released on many platforms, that's a tough cookie. Destiny is an online shooter. Sure, you can play it single player as well, but the game mixes solo missions with world events. To really experience this game, you need to be online, and the necessity of being online is already a reason for some gamers not to buy the game. Online shooters like Planetside 2 and Titanfall, both great in their own way, never reach the numbers Destiny is aiming for. We've gone from continuing to make Halo games to doing something that's new and exciting. We've all started to love game studio Bungie as the guys behind the fantastic Halo series. Halo and Halo 2 were amazing on the first Xbox, followed by Halo 3 and Halo Reach on the Xbox 360. Halo 3 ODST, however, was received with less praise. The studio's fans are used to playing on the Xbox, but Destiny is multi-platform and therefore Bungie can no longer rely solely on a fan base. Did he wave or throw yeah. a grenade? I think he threw a grenade. <laughs> now he's greeting us. As soon as you make a video game that heavily relies on online modes, you are bound to face the wrath of the fanboy. In July, Bungie will launch a multiplayer beta phase, after which it will make several changes to the game. In the months up till the launch, the game needs to be balanced over and over and over again. And then comes launch day in September when players will flood the servers and make things crash. Setting up a game that relies so much on multiplayer can sure be difficult. It's a scary place, but if it's not scary, then it's not going to be good. Let's face it, Destiny is too big to be a complete failure. Bungie and Activision have signed a 10-year agreement to build Destiny, a pinnacle in the shooter genre. The game could combine MMO and FPS and adventure while gamers group up to defend the planet from alien invasions and help out other groups. Destiny offers a bit of the atmosphere of Halo, the weapons of Borderlands and the social online aspects of Journey. With a $500 million investment, the stakes are high, but Destiny is too big to fail.